Hello, team. Okay. <coughs> I have a lot to talk about. First of all, I had like probably the busiest th last three days of my whole life. So, sorry about the sudden cancellation of the Sunday stream. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been very busy. I thought I was gonna be late to this, and then I wasn't. I'm doing a bad job, basically, of being punctual. But oh my god, dude, I've had a hell of a last little while. Um, yeah. Room places for Stardew Valley. <laughs> Whew. Uh, I'm so, I'm not sick anymore. So now I'm just, it's just allergies and um, a little of the like post, post viral. I'm eating my apple. <laughs> a little bit of the post viral. Cough. Sniffles. And the like congestion. We'll probably Stardew Valley. It's gonna be fine. Also, let me just say, Humor is subjective, right? So there's always like different people find different things funny. A lot of times I get a lot of comments, people saying that they found a certain video of mine really funny and it was a video that I never really thought was that funny, which is always good to hear because it's like, oh great, I hated that video, so I'm so glad you like it. Um, I have a very specific sense of humor and something that I'm sure is a bad habit, but I can't help but doing that I've been doing lately is catering my own videos to my sense of humor. At least the ones that I edit myself. So like the Outer Wilds video, very catered to my sense of humor. Uh, I've started editing the first of these Stardew Valley ones of this uh, Stardew Valley expanded one. Dude, that video is extremely catered to my sense of humor. <laughs> I think this uh, video, to me, <laughs> that video is, is so funny. I've, I've got 20 minutes, <coughs> 20 minutes of it done right now. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably going to have to do take an intermission like I would do the stream to make myself a sandwich or something because I usually eat a meal right before stream so I don't get super hungry on stream. I just pause music because we're going to listen to I've been using that playlist a lot. We're going to do Kirby music today. Because I like Kirby music. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, usually I eat a meal right before stream, but my schedule was whack today because I had so much shit going on. Basically, I spent 12 hours yesterday making cake pops. I'm in charge of, I'm the like fundraising chair for my fraternity. And we did a sale today that I, I spearheaded that was cake pops and friendship bracelets. So not only did I make like a million friendship bracelets while I was really sick, I also spent 12 hours yesterday making cake pops, which it turns out take a long time to make and are very finicky. So... I haven't even sniffed YouTube stuff in like three days. So I'm so excited to get back to editing video. There's so much footage waiting on me right now. Cause I've been having so much more fun editing stuff myself. So I've been like probably too greedy with wanting to keep footage for myself. But yeah, um, so I had that all day. So I ate at a weird schedule. Um, that's so cute. Dude, yeah, they sold like a high case. It's awesome. I was out there with the big frat sign being like, cake pops <laughs> and friendship bracelets. <coughs> it went great. But I'm exhausted. I spent all day yesterday making them. Uh, I used to be really good at making friendship bracelets. This is a story I can tell on stream, so we're going to get into the game soon. Oh, wait, let me do... Uh, I haven't checked in via face cam in a while. Hi, team. I'm not sick anymore. My room is still a little messy, but it's a lot less messy. Also, look. Here are two of the friendship bracelets I made. I'm wearing them. There they are. I put them on my wrist. Jump scare. Alright, well, you're being a dick, is what you're being. You put fairy lights? Honey, I've had fairy lights for a year. Get with it. I decorated my room myself. Do you like it? <laughs> Look, there's my plaque. <coughs> oh God, I pointed. How do I do it? <coughs> there's my <coughs> 100K subscribers. Now we're at 400,000. <coughs> yeah, that's gonna be happening a lot this stream because I've got post-viral cough combined with. I have like. 
a little bit of asthma. I have like cough variant asthma. So. Okay. Goodbye, baby bears. Okay, here we go. Let me go ahead and boot up the game. Let's see. Steam. Starter Valley expanded. Play. Get, get me sick through the screen. Um. Hey, shut up. I just showed my dad to you. I think you swapped that, but I, I get what you mean. This is funny. Uh, and he loves your channel. Dude, I love your dad. <laughs> I know the screen's black, by the way. The game just takes forever to boot up. <laughs> Music slightly loud. Just say the word. I gotta turn that down for me anyway. There we are. This song's great. Okay. Let's see. Uh, game capture. My taskbar is broken today. So. Everyone please be patient. Game audio is too quiet as well. I like it to be a lot louder. There we go. Uh, is my animation canceling? On no, okay. I gotta turn that on too. Sorry, y'all, for being so out of sorts. Here we go. Ickle, Ickle McCratch. I forgot it's fall. Hooray! I love fall. Oh, I forgot I was going to make a Trevor Story emote before going live. Can you make an emote while live and it'll still update? I forgot there's this glitch in fall where it just thinks it's dark for the first 10 minutes of the day. Only in indoor spaces and it's playing the it's dark ambient noise. Hold on, let me... There we go. It's bizarre. Um, you should try. Okay, everyone, please hold. Um, a new emote was added to my Discord server. That is literally my just Discord a headshot. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. It's literally just a headshot of uh, Trevor's <laughs> of Trevor Story, <coughs> who is my favorite baseball player. Um. Yeah, and I want to add it to Twitch. Uh, I love Trevor's story. He's having a really, really bad start to the season, but I don't care. I love him. He's my favorite. I wish my favorite players would do good. Um, let's see. Okay. Twitch. Thank you for being patient. This just matters to me. Creator dashboard. You're live? Um, I know. Okay. Um. How do I go to emo stuff? Uh, emotes. Here we go. Follower emotes are a new free tier of emotes that you grow community by giving viewers more ways to join the conversation. Viewers will get access to these emotes for free when they follow your channel. Okay, I'll have one free follower emote and it will be Trevor's story. Image is not square shaped. Oh, for the love of God. Alright, they're gonna make me reformat it in Photoshop. You sons of bitches. Okay. Image uh, canvas size. There we go. Okay. Now, file, export, export as. This to be less than one megabyte. Perfect. Oh, shit. Where'd that end up? <coughs> I 
There we go. Okay. Now, let me try again. I.png. There we go. Trevor Story. You know my name. Uh, I'll just call it Trevor. Therm it's Trevor. Done. Upload. Okay, let me know if y'all, if you refresh the page. <gasps> If you, if you follow me and refresh the page, maybe you'll be able to do Trevor Story emote. He's my favorite baseball player. I'm going to say that every time. I love him. I don't think we would get along. Yeah! I don't think we would get along in real life. We seem like very different people. He's also extremely religious. And I'm not super religious. But I'd like to think we'd be friends. Okay. What to do, man? Like, we've got... Well, let's pet Oatwalker for starters. We've got a, a damn pretty farm here, I gotta say. I'm really proud of myself. Um, These are maturing. Oh yeah, I need to buy uh, spring and summer trees. We need uh, four spring, four summer. And then besides that, it's just kind of getting uh, bee houses. That is the name of the game. Um, Yeah, okay. Cool, let me check my tap zone. Um, we also are pretty close to level 10 forging if I remember correctly, so we should let, let's go get stuff to do some wood cutting today We're gonna do wood cutting. We're gonna buy new trees from Pierre <coughs> There is no birthday today, so None of that Oh, purple mushroom. It is a beautiful day. It is a absolute... Like, tell me this is not a beautiful day in the world of Stardew Valley. I love... I love what this recolor did to fall. I love how everything's golden now instead of orange. Very pretty. Okay, from now on, the Trevor stories are used sparingly. Still use them liberally if you please, but no more spamming of story. It needs to it needs to stay precious and important. Damn. Wait, there's something I could pick up. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, is that a corpse flower? Yeah, it smells a foul order order order. <laughs> it smells a foul odor. It attracts insects. It's a corpse flower. It's like vile plume. Tough. What's the goal for today's stream? We haven't had a goal for a while. It's more been like loosely I like bee houses and want to get as many as I can. So I suppose that. Okay. I want to make more bee house zones. I think because originally it was just going to be that stripe, but now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, hey, uh, that's not nearly enough to sate my lust. So we should also work on getting down on the mines because the sooner we get to Skull Cavern, the better. I uh, like all the wood skip because I would love uh, some Meridian Sprinklers pretty soon. Look at that. We're like on our way to level 10. We're not like especially close, but chopping hardwood is, is going to become a daily task for us until we hit level 10. I feel like because it's just great for XP. Like we got like a little chunk there. We'll probably need to do like eight or nine more times to actually level up. But okay. Um, let's go buy trees from Pierre. We'll go out this way. Gonna eat some apple. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to give some more thought this stream to the rest of our farm because I like what we've done so far, but there's a lot of areas that are untouched. 
I know we had an area that was gonna be animal zone. Do I really want animals as the thing? Kind of. I might investigate some mods that give you new animals. Cause caring for animals, as I said a lot of times in my perfection series, is my least favorite part of this game. Once you get into like the end game area. Um, okay. I don't think I have enough to get well let me pawn some of this off. Okay. Um, I need two of each of cherry, apricot, orange, and peach. <coughs> so, yeah, we're not, we're not quite there. We're like kind of close. Let me go ahead and get the two cherry, two apricot. And, um, yeah. Okay. I need about 7k, a little over, before I can, uh, finish our, our first honey zone. that um but yeah i'm thinking uh probably mines focused this stream dropping floors specifically we've got a steel pickaxe now so we should be able to get to the bottom with not too much trouble i'd like a better weapon than the mallet i'm working with okay cherry apricot Cherry. <laughs> Apricot. I'm just so scared I'm going to screw it up. Okay, and then we'll go um, from the bottom, I guess, for the orange. There we are. Okay, so then we just need the two peaches, and that's this little, like, column. And then we're going to have... This is our, our bee house configuration. One, two, three, one, one, two, three. And then it's going to be like that around all of these single trees. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, like that. So it'll be four groups of uh, eight. So that's only 32 because it's tough to try and get. I think I think I'm trying too hard um, to like get all of that like have all of them be in range of all three trees and we should instead focus on well that'll be a problem once i have enough bee houses because for now i just don't have very many anyway so it's it's all good okay let's see it's already 2 30 so this day is close enough to over i don't really want to go to the mines so instead Let's do some brainstorming about what we want where. So, if we do, if we end up doing animals, um, this is the spot. This right here is absolutely the the animal zone. Absolutely. I don't know if animals can leave this way. I don't think they can. They definitely can't. So this is this is a great spot for animals. This this fenced in area. So I think we're going to reserve this as an animal zone. We have our honey. We have our plant field. This is the south exit of our farm. So we could easily line up a bunch of, <coughs> excuse me. We could easily line up a ton of fruit tree bee house stuff going on right there. Um, and then we've got this big field over here. Um, which is could be even more crops because we've got we got that crop field over there but that's it um what i'm imagining though i'm imagining that we're gonna unlock some areas later in the game i remember there's that like garden space that was not like visitable yet at the time um no kegs this time dude i'm so burnt out on kegs we're not doing that this time um there's that little garden space that like wasn't available yet, but it was basically a bunch of plantable tiles. So I'm imagining that later in the game, we're gonna have that and that can be just a bunch more crops. We'll have Ginger Island as well. So I think this on farm space could easily just be more, fr <laughs> more fruit tree. Cause I, I did say like, like I'm done with, with kegs, at least for now, I'm so bored of it. 
So I think we're just going to make this farm all about honey and, and fruit. All right. Monkey D. Luffy is going to wreck this world with fruit trees. How does that? I love this hat. This hat's great. Okay. So it's decided. Um, I should make a silo when I camp. I can't do it today. It's too late. But let me see if I have all the things I need. Um, I've got the copper. It's just copper earth crystal. Is it earth crystal? Uh, or no, no, no. Clay. Copper, clay, and stone, right? There's a silo and some cash. I've got those. Okay. Then I think um, we can make a silo tomorrow. This is great for energy, by the way. We're going to want to save all these. Why? Oh, yeah. There's a community center. These two don't need to be in here. I only need one purple mushroom for community center, right? That one already more, man. We'll make a bunch of money. We'll um, on the eighth, and we can go ahead and do the vault. Get to the desert, get our one iridium pretty pretty easily. Um, there's a purple mushroom. So we need one there. That's it, though. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll make a silo tomorrow. So let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna want our silo. I told my dad about what you said and it made his week. Awesome, dude. Give him my number. I'll make his week. Boundaries. Apologies. Um, I'm thinking silo. Hmm. Maybe over there. By the water. Yeah, I think right there. Let me go ahead and let's get rid of these. We're not using them. <coughs> well, we could be though. Maybe that's what I should have been doing. Um, we'll get some animals going this month. Now that I have all this downtime. Maybe that's what I should have been doing today with all my extra time is uh, foraging and trying to get as many fall foraging seeds as I can because we want level 10 foraging. So that's an oversight on my part. Everyone, please uh, forgive me. Okay. Um, let's clear out some space in this zone. And that's where we'll put our shitty sprinklers for now. Got some jelly. One of those is going to be community center. One of them, I guess, will just be sold. Okay. There we go. Nice. All right. Clear some space. Stars are out. What a beautiful world. <laughs> I don't miss you. I don't want to sight too much of this grass because I'm just about to get a silo, but... Okay. Awesome. Now... I'll just hold on to these until I can get my hands on some fall foraging seeds. Um, I can make those, right? Yeah. Common mushroom, wild plum, hazelnut, blackberry. Just say the word. Okay. Where are we standing with those? I've got a, I've got a common mushroom. I've got a hazelnut. Uh, let me stow these. Okay. Um... There's some mushrooms. We got plenty of mushrooms. I know we have tons of plums, yeah. 
we've saved our like one hazelnut. Oh, okay, so that's that bundle done. That'll give us some. Oops. Maybe we go ahead and do that tonight. Let's do that tonight. Okay. Fair. God damn it. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's do a community center run. Um. Everything will fall into place. You all just need to be patient with me. Please, please. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. There we go. So that's 10 seeds right there. 30. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is another bundle that we can finish. I just need to freaking remember to bring the stuff. Uh, okay, so craft room will we'll finish in winter time, but that's nothing crazy. Um, artisan bundle. Bam. Uh, we'll have honey soon enough. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a, either of these from our fruit kid, but we'll have honey anyway. Uh, quality crops. We've got corn in the ground. We've got yams in the ground. Uh, I think. Nope. Not yet. Okay. Neat. I think we've got... Yeah, we've got mostly fish. To die. Uh, no. No. These are summertime, so we totally blew that. Um, ocean fish is where I just was. Stupid moron. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. That gives me some bait. Thanks, bro. Okay, uh, this we can get all of pretty easily in the winter time. Um, no walleye, which was just terrible luck kind of all around. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, oh yeah, field research. And die bundle. Bop. Okay, um, nice. That's everything, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go get these, uh, forageable seeds in the ground. If I can. And then we'll hit the sack. There's Claire. Oh my god. Excuse me, Miss Ma'am. Can't say that I know too much about Pelican Town. Sorry, I should be going. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? There's edging away from you. God damn it! She stopped moving. I think I killed her. God damn it. I wish I could talk to girls. All right. Anyway. Let me... Ding dong. Okay. These are going in the ground. That is a non-negotiable. I don't think I have any leftover... I have like enough. Oh, no, I will. Um... Just for one, though. Okay, 40. 40 is all we can muster for now. She's broken. Yeah. We'll freaking fix. Fix her. Jesus. I can fix her. That's eight. So then it's just nine. Ten. Okay. I forgot to get my hoe. God damn it. Harder sauce. I can, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Why am I pushing? This is so. Well, no, it'll give me a, an extra day, which is helpful. It's worth it. I gotta throw scarecrow down. Okay, hold on. This is gonna be elite if I can pull this off. I can't. Definitely. One. Uh, 
Did I count that right? Wow! Oh my god, we're gonna make it. Holy shit, that was outstanding. God damn. <laughs> Nothing you can do but clap after that. That was unbelievable. 294 gold on my way. <laughs> Elliot's birthday. Who gives a shit? Okay. One ancient fruit today. Go pet Oat Walker. Love you. Okay. I got some big ass apples here. Uh, let me. Bop. Okay. Now. And they're getting water. Awesome. All of them. Stupendous. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's go forging today. I've got good luck. I'm in. I'm in mining. This is the crazy thing. Let's go mining today. I've got good luck. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. We got some energy stuff. Oh, we were going to buy a silo. Okay. I'll busy myself. I'll go chop hardwood. Uh, so that on my way, I can stop by Robin's because she'll be open. So we're going to run chop hardwood. Then we're going to go up to Robin's. Get ourselves a silo. Why are the apples so big? Hacks. Soft and neat. What is this referring to? Me? I suppose. Being murdered by allergies. Yeah. Can we light? Dude, what is with that potted plant zooming by every time I go to the... What is causing that? Harry Potter! Must be. Oh, you bastard. Y'all paint dearly. Please. Have mercy. I'm just trying to chop wood. I don't feel even a little bad. Okay. Is there one more? There is. Okay. Now I now I leave. <laughs> Get a hiccup. Nice. Okay. Let's see here. Oops. Um, these can all get so well. No, these give me actually great energy. So I'm gonna hold on to these. And then, uh, oh, these give great energy too. I'll hold on to all of them. All right, let's go. We're little. We're getting. We're 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 little. Oh my God, we're getting off to a little bit of a late start today. I'm gonna leave those. I wanna start having them all be ready on the same day. Okay. Oh, I can bust up those huge rocks. I'll do that later.
I was going to Robbins, I'm taking the long way, Jesus. Hey, Waba. Silo. Make it happen. I'm snapping my fingers at you. Snap, snap, snap. Construct farm buildings. Look at these cute freaking. Adorable! <coughs> <coughs> Dying. Here we go. Right there, right? Well, I don't want to block. No, not right there, stupid. That's not my animal area. Jesus. Ding dong. Wobble. Dot, dot, dot. That's awesome. <laughs> I've started spelling her name like that. W O B U N. Wobble. Here I come. Let's see her across the room at a party. Excuse me, Wabon. Mm, I love apples. Now it's someone else's turn to give a fact. Alright, let's get them. Please don't. Okay. You know what? You know what? Whatever. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. See if I care. See if I care. I hate you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's coal at the end of that hallway. God damn it. Yeah, that's fine. There's a lot of shit everywhere, dude. Could easily die in this room. Also a lot of gold, oh my god. Okay. Lamo. Um I'm going over here. Lord above. I think a staircase would actually mean like a, a lot to me. Now that I'm like, I haven't taken the time to think about how much it would mean to me, and I think it'd actually be like a ton. Okay. There we go. All right, that was a, a hellish floor. Let's zoom out. I think this is from that Kirby golfing game. I forget what it's called. Kirby's Dream Course, something like that. Fine. I have so much energy food. Get my energy. <laughs> I'm just so flabgasted. This thing suck. These gray rocks are great because they only break in one hit. They give you plenty of resources and they have a chance to drop a ladder. What more? Literally, what more could you ask for out of anything or anyone? You need to get out of inside of my body. Level up! I'm almost level 10. My, dude, my skills are pretty elite. Dodge. That was pretty slick. Okay. All right. And so now we're hacking, huh? Very funny. Okay, I'm not gonna fall for it again. I'm getting my coal. 
That didn't touch me even. even. Why? Okay, I could easily die in here. Okay, remember what I said? Don't slam me. I, that is the worst thing that could possibly happen right now. Okay. No problems. Never a threat. Almost level 100 spot. That's gonna be our first star drop, dude. Holy swag. Holy crease. I'm just gonna do this. I just want this floor to be over as soon as physically possible. Okay. So, so a ghost. Don't, don't do this. Come on, you're better than this. And on my good luck day of all days. Oh, okay, that's why. All right, well, ding dong, 100. Star drop. Wham bam! And now I can get the lava eel for the community center. Good shit. Your mind is filled with thoughts of your smile. I'm thinking of you, viewer. You have such a pretty smile, comma, viewer. Whoops. Come on now. Oh, you whore. No, this is not the time to make this about you. Thank you. Wow. Nice, nice, nice work, man. Alright, mister. I'm putting you in the blender if that's cool. Yeah. Chunky. Gimme. This is turning into way more productive than I thought it would. We might drop... Never mind. I was about to say, we might... Get it all the way to 110, drop 20 floors with how little time we had, and how cool would that be? And then this stupid shit happened. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's do it. Let's make it to 110. Okay. Nothing really going on, so I'm just gonna break rocks. Energy is not our problem right now. It's time. Yeah. Okay, um. There's a ladder. I'm gonna get these two. I want the coal, if there's any coal in there. Bing bong, two coal. They call me a prophet at school. <laughs> in the halls of my middle school. There goes the prophet. My neon orange under armor shirt. I would love some mine carts. That iridium. So freaking annoying, dude. Yeah. Okay. There's one right there, you stupid blind moron. I'm in. Whoops. Not real. Okay. My health is pretty low. Gotta watch it. Expanded isn't broken in 1.6. I know, but I have like 10 other mods going that probably are. I just don't want to risk anything. 
Yo, you want a Geo? That's what I've been hoping for, but it hasn't happened yet. Alright, come on now. It's 11, so I'm definitely pushing this, like, too far. But I really would love to get to 110 tonight. Because redoing these, these floors below. 107, 108, 109. So if I could only do these once, that would be a dream scenario. I don't need that stuff. Okay, come on. There we go. One more. Done. That's it. 110. We dropped 20 floors. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. The hammer thing's awesome, but I'm bored of it. Alright. Heading out. 110. So one more good day in the mines and we're at the bottom. Oh, hazelnut. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean just one iron ore. Okay. I hope we can make it back in time. We're, we'll be fine. Okay. Let's see. Um. See, I want. I think we should make a separate chest for all of the fall. This is, this will stay in here because it's a crafting thing. Make a separate chest for all of the fall forageables that I will accumulate and turn into seeds. I'll just put them here. Later. Okay, night time. Another spectacular day. I forgot I could have stayed in the mind to tell about that. That's all right. Okay. Ha! Huh. I just yawned and my sinuses are so fucked that it, it broadcast a fart noise right into the inside of my head. Alright. <clears throat> Foot. Love you, doggy dog. Look at that. Eggplant. Eggplant. And it's daytime now. Only now. Also, I just realized it's not a glitch that makes it nighttime. When you, it's because you... I don't know. You wake up when it's dark out. It's the farmer lifestyle. I didn't even consider that. That, like, at this time of year, it would be dark. And I'm waking up at 6. Alright, so that's one point this game. Zero points. Thermi. Thermi swag. Okay, let me let me harvest some fruit trees. Because I'd like enough cash to finish off our fruit tree collection. There we go. I was about to say, I, I'm, I'm going to have to do a better job... The honey thing didn't work. It didn't it didn't give me fruit honey. Well th that simply won't do. I can't harvest the inside tree, I'm now realizing. So I'm gonna have to It's fine. I don't mind none. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out what's causing that. Well, that's our artisan bundle finished. Well, we can finish with the pomegranate, which is, uh... 400?! Dude, this mod is such a cheat. 
<laughs> oh my god. One pomegranate sells for 473. Why even bother with the honey at that rate? Okay, hold on. Better bee houses. They should produce flower range. Usable in outdoors and greenhouse. Produced in winter indoors. Honey quality, I don't know, whatever. Very quality boost. Flower boost. Flowers required too. Um, honey sources. Allow all fruit trees. Okay, that's on me. Um, visuals. Bee particles. Bee paths. Honey price multiplier. Um, uh, no, one. 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 What? Oh no, shit. Oh no, I just I just don't save it. We're good. Okay, that slider's broken. Um, cool. Well, that's fixed now. Um, I gotta be honest, y'all. This is like, this feels a little too cheaty. Cause it's like, I love that we're cheating with all the fruit things. I think I should remove the mod that makes the fruit sell for extra because it sells for, I think far too much. I just, I like, I feel kind of guilty that each pomegranate sells for almost 500 gold. Cause like, I, I really want to lean into the, the honey and the bee houses. And if that's how much fruit sells for, there's literally no point. It would be wiser to actually just deck out this whole area in fruit trees, which is fun in its own right, but yeah, no. So we'll do it after this day. Okay. Uh, we have a terrible luck day, so we're not going to be going to the mines. Instead... We'll do something else. Well, well, we'll, we'll, we'll chop hardwood. That's a given. Oh, thank you. I love when, when 4K video downloader pulls me from whatever game I'm playing to tell me there's an update available. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to go chop hardwood first. Then, I guess we go foraging today. Try and get more forageable seeds to finish all our sprinklers off. Oh, there we go. Like how the farm's looking? I do too. Okay, so after this day, I'll uh, remove, I forget. The thing is though, oh, it's baked into the mod, isn't it? I'll have to, I'll, I'll look through my list. I can't remember if it was the like fruit tree math one. Was it, it was this a separate mod from the tweaks one that gives all the fun colors and they mature in two days. Cause that much is fun. I hate waiting for the trees to grow. Mature in two days holds 10 fruits and the size difference uh, needs to stay as well as if I think they can be planted anywhere. I think the math one might be different. It was called like Fruit tree math something. I'll investigate. Okay. Bastards. I hate all of you. Hooray! Bye! Okay, let me, uh... I just 
gotta make sure I have enough room for whatever goodies I may find in the wild. Okay, there's one. Look at our foraging level, man. Let's also do some wood cutting today. I'm gonna wood cut until I'm out of energy. Cause I'm just trying to blitz my way to forging level 10 if I can help it. And I think I can. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. What is going on? I'm over it. Um, didn't I say I had a story I was going to tell on stream? Like at the very beginning of stream. And I was like, that's something I could talk about on stream. What is it about? What did I mention? I know I mentioned friendship bracelets, but I can't recall like what specifically about it. I don't know. Whatever. Um, just on the vague topic of friendship bracelets. Um, yeah, I was very good at them in like when I was. I went to this like sleepaway summer camp for years in like late elementary school and middle school. And uh, every year I'd go. And it was a two week sleepaway camp and you don't like bring your phone or anything. So a lot of the time I'd pass time making friendship bracelets. Um,. Dude, the clout was undeniable. I was actually really good at it. Um, I haven't done it in years, but I wish I did just for like the... Because like it was like a time sensitive thing, so I just cranked out a bunch of the easiest one. And everyone in our like fraternity kept being like, Dude, look at this one that this person made. That's so sick. They put like hearts in it and shit. That's awesome. And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. In my mind, I was thinking like... Uh, child's play. I was like, I in the grand scheme of things, I'm probably I probably wasn't that that great. What is this, man? But like, for my age at the time, in like fifth grade at summer camp, man, I was I was awesome, dude. I made like. I got like, the clout was undeniable. I got, now, the way I'm describing this sounds uh, disrespectful and reductionist. Um, Cause like, I don't know, the phrase get bitches is, is like innately a little bit uh, disrespectful. That being said, um, I got so many bitches in summer camp making because <laughs> of how good I was at making friendship bracelets because people would be like hey teach me and I'd be like yeah dude absolutely and I oh my god I I, I like I, I gotta figure out what to get rid of man I got plenty of fiber okay we're gonna leave um 
I like I was making that like because like there's the pattern ones right where like people make like the stripes and the diamonds and the hearts and blah 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 that is baby shit I was making like symbols in the bracelet I had one that was yin and yang I had one that was slices of watermelon I was I was bra I was nodding people's names into my bracelets I was spelling out people's names and giving it to them do you realize how many times I was the youngest I like I was the youngest kid in my cabin and also was very very short at that age so I was I don't know uh, all of my cabin mates were extremely from the get-go very condescending to me because they were all like 16 year old destined to be frat bros from like southern Virginia um, I'm sure now they all have some kind of assault charge against them so they were not great people and of course they were they spoke about women in a very disrespectful way as you probably could guess but so they were all so freaking condescending to me the number of times we'd be sitting at lunch and just a group of the like oldest cabin girls would come up to me and say like are you Thomas and I'd be like yeah and they'd be like dude I felt so I felt like I don't know if y'all have seen she's the man I feel like that scene in the diner but they like they kept coming up and they'd be like oh my god my friend like showed me a bracelet you made her like can you make me one my name's Olivia and I'd be like yeah Olivia I'll have it done by tomorrow at lunch she'd be like you're the best and walk away and I was like ha 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 all of these dudes who were like <laughs> so desperately trying to hit on every girl at the summer camp I was like this is the secret dude you just have to be a reasonably good person and also be good at making friendship bracelets They used you dude used me for what I loved making friendship bracelets and they were friends like we we chatted and had fun for the whole rest of camp I got exactly what I wanted out of that exchange. I'm not charging for bracelets <laughs> That is such a lame mindset to assume any kind of exchange that does not make you money means you've been manipulated slash used It would be manipulated if I thought they were gonna freaking date me. I was not looking for a date, dude. I like was just not interested romantically in a soul at the time so like I was just like dude oh my god the popular girls are talking to me sure man I'll make you a bracelet and then they would every time I'd see them they'd be like oh hi and I'd walk over to their table and we'd hang out and it was so fun so no I was not used that is a closed-minded I think you're jealous I think you're projecting <laughs> There's something so funny about screaming. I think you're projecting in a really defensive tone <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> let me put all this shit away Anyway, yeah, I was I was money at it is the gist and I, I should get back to that point I would make like the really wide really advanced shit. I did the same thing with rainbow loom in fifth grade just crafty guy yeah it was sick and then they would all cheer for me because oh these were the glory days dude this is where after this it all went downhill I was so popular um I like it, it, at our summer camp let me drink some water at our summer camp there was a system where you could every lunchtime there was a challenge board and you could challenge other cabins to like a sports match of sorts uh, or it doesn't have to be sports just something with with stakes um, and I don't know it was like 2014 and we were all like closed-minded children so the most just horrific punishment you could ever set up uh, was cross-dressing <laughs> at a dinner it was like the boy cabin has to dress like girls and if the girls lose they have to dress like boys which looking back is not doesn't feel especially uh two-sided because whenever the girls had to dress like boys they would just wear what they usually wear but like plus a backwards hat but if the boys lost they would make them wear like really revealing clothing which feels kind of like not great anyway um <laughs> 
th there, there was challenges and they happened like every day and it would be like water polo in the pool or 5v5 five five basketball or dodgeball was probably most popular. Nukem actually was probably most popular. Um, I forgot to grab these. But yeah. And so whenever our cabin would get challenged to like basketball or something, we'd play on the court during free time and a bunch of people would watch because I was in the oldest cabin at the time. So we had like prime time television. And since I had made so many connections with my friendship bracelets, they would all cheer for me whenever I would score. And I felt awesome. And it's because I was never good enough at basketball to play in high school. So I never got to play in front of a big crowd. That was the closest I ever got. It was awesome. Pomegranate honey. <laughs> okay, we're going <coughs> to... We're going to go cut hardwood. Then we're going to buy fruit trees. Then we're going to go to the mines and finish it up. That's today's schedule. And our silo's done. Look at how nice that looks. And it's misty today. It's foggy. I love these mods, man. They look so pretty. Anyway, it was awesome. You know about Gaga Ball? I don't know about Gaga Ball. You're a cool ass kid. Dude, I was really popular in late elementary school. I miss it. Then all my nerdy hobbies started being nerdy. Because at the time, it was like not lame to be into Minecraft and like video games and shit. But then eventually, it's like I'm in high school and I'm playing Pokemon on my laptop at lunchtime. I'm not a cool kid anymore. And I'm like sitting with like my one friend. So then it's like, okay, these days are over. But who cares? I had just as much fun doing that so who, who really cares um but yeah that was awesome and like at the time again i was good at basketball in like fifth or sixth grade so I, I was scoring a lot there was this um huge knockout game that was like half the camp was playing so the line like stretched around like the whole camp um i was in the final five that was one of the most scintillating moments of my life because like in fifth or sixth grade i had an outstanding mid-range shot um, and you, you kick off a game of, at that age at least, now it's usually three points. You kick off a game of knockout with a free throw. So I was like automatic from the stripe. Um, so I was good at knockout. So like this, so eventually it got to the point where it was like me and four like grown men counselors. And the whole camp was watching. So of course I was the fan favorite. That, I think about that sometimes. And just like beam. I wish I could experience that again. I'm just like not good at sports to ever have that kind of stage <laughs> again <laughs> for a sport. My roommate had a Rainbow Loom YouTube channel. It's got a little cloud. It's good for her. Dude, that's, yeah, undeniable. I was a Minecraft YouTuber in high school and I was the coolest kid. Dude. Done and done. Aren't you good at basketball? Nope. Absolutely not. I'm like extremely fine. I can hold my own is how I describe myself. Cause like I, I played enough that I know the rules and I can handle the ball well enough to not embarrass myself. But I'm not like especially good. Um, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna sell these. I've got plenty of these spice berries. I'll hold on to this. Okay. Oh, I forgot to sell my honey. Okay, let me, uh, oops. Um, yeah, no, I'm not very good at it. I wonder if I can, if I have a video, because I uploaded that video to Twitter <coughs> of me hitting that golf ball, not knowing how to play golf. I think I have a video on my phone of me shooting a basketball. I can upload that so we can get another cross section of my. <laughs> my athletic life in huge air quotes. Yeah, I miss playing sports. I love sports so much. Okay. Um, I need... I, I, I placed two orange, so I need two peach. Cool. All right. And I'll go ahead and get the bigger backpack. All right. That's awesome. Deluxe pack. Very nice to have. All right, let's go plant these, and then we're going to go to the mines. That's on tennis. Extremely fun. I love to play tennis. I, I have, like, zero formal experience with tennis, but I played enough just with my friends, like, for fun that I think I'm actually okay at it now. I can, like, hold my own. Um, 
Because, I don't know. I'm a, I, I, I can run. I'm pretty agile, so I can get to a lot of balls. And then my stroke form isn't that bad. Because, again, like, even though it's not one-to-one -one a baseball swing, baseball experience does kind of help a lot getting into tennis. Okay. All right. Let's go to the mines. Yeah, I've never played like competitive, so I'm probably terrible in the grand scheme of things, but I play with my friends for fun really often during the summer. We'll just like walk to the local tennis courts and break in and <laughs> play. It's awesome. Volleyball is also very fun. Another sport I have almost no experience in, but love to play. I'm on my uh, fraternity's I am intramural volleyball team this year, and we're 2-0. and I'm like, I, I have no volleyball experience, but I'm pretty coordinated and I'm tall, so I can, I can hang in there. I'm good for a few spikes every game. I brought my axe! Ugh. We gotta go back. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get to the bottom anymore. I don't know if we'll have the time. Damn, son. Alright. It's time for real. Thank you all for the Trevor stories. I look at him and I feel happy. Eventually. That's one of my big goals on YouTube. Eventually I want to get Trevor story to notice me. Somehow. I want, I want to become a popular enough guy on this platform. That word like makes it to the Red Sox clubhouse. Like, hey, there's this dude who makes gaming YouTube videos. He's freaking obsessed with you. <laughs> All right, let's go to work. It's already five, but. There we go. That's why I took the time to kill it. Just for that chance. some rocks there we go 113 I think we can do it we might have to really push it and we might pass out and I doubt we're gonna level up today in anything so it's risky but I really want oh this is a great start I really want to get to one 120 oh my god Ooh, hell yeah. Is this like... Oh, it's feeling a little lucky. That's crazy, because this is like... A hell of a good start. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. 
Look at our forging level, dude. We're almost at 10. We're gonna do this easily. Holy shit. It's like, been like less than two in game hours. Stop. You bastard! Is that a ladder? Thanks, man. Sorry for yelling at you. One more. Get me there, son! Lead me down! Come on, Kentucky Wildcats! Come on, kitty cats! No! Kentucky Wildcats, no! Again, one of my favorite videos ever. Come on now. This looks like a uh, barge and then now I'm in the, the PP. Okay. You know what? I'll be patient. It's 8.30. Got all day to do this. Yeah, keep fluttering around me. Please just come straight at me. Come on, dude. Thank you. Done. Done. And done. All right. It's a wrap. Oh my god. Foggy. Alright, we hit the bottom of the mines. So now, once I... Tomorrow, we're gonna have our first cranberry harvest. That's gonna give me enough cash to go ahead and unlock all the vault stuff. So then, Monday or Tuesday the 9th, I'll be able to enter Skull Caverns. I will die, because I'm not equipped for it. But I want to find, but I want to find just one, or any more. That's literally all I ask. Thanks for the uh, fart, by the way. Okay. Uh, artifact. Nope, that's wrong. Artifact. Um, cool. Another happy day in 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 this in the um. Look at that. Money sauce. I'm putting on a hoodie. Wow. Okay. Back to work. Bad luck days. This was it's Claire's birthday. It's Claire's birthday. It's Claire's birthday. It's Claire's birthday. Hey Google. Oh Jesus! My whole game. <laughs> my whole game just froze. <laughs> it's blackberry season. I would love to pick some blackberries. I'm gonna do that today. And this cranberry harvest. Lots to do today. All right, let me Google this. Stardew Valley, Claire. Best gifts, green tea, energy tonic, sunflower, bruschetta, apricot. Done. We have one in our cave right now. Right now. I wish the little bubbles, the like it's done bubbles for honey, uh, superseded the tree. You know what I mean? Probably. Okay. 
Okay, I can put an extra two there now. There we are. Damn! Was hoping for better quality than that. That's okay. All right. There's lots to do today. Tons. So let me uh, go ahead and pick cranberries first. Now, well, actually, let me check Claire's schedule. Um, she gets off the bus at 8 a.m., so we'll have to meet her in a little bit. Um, okay. Claire's birthday is happening today. We'll check for honey. Um, what else can happen? Oh, yeah, we're gonna sell our stuff straight to Pierre. Uh, so we can buy the vault upgrade. Today. Um... I'd like to... We'll get a bunch of cash from this. So I can also maybe start a gold pickaxe upgrade today. At Clint's. I'll probably do that. Uh, either that or a gold axe. I would rather have a gold axe, but gold pickaxe might be good, like, time-sensitive-wise. So we can go ahead and get in Skull Cavern and, like, actually do some damage. Eh. Nah. Because I kind of want to hold off of Skull Cavern until I have a better weapon anyway. So maybe we'll do gold axe. Get into level 10 foraging. Epic. I'm saying epic too much. Especially my Tears of the Kingdom thing, dude. I was watching back that uh, all that footage for Tears of the Kingdom. Um, oh my god. Especially that first stream. I was like, clearly... I gotta go meet Claire. I was like, clearly on my epic kick. Because just everything I was saying on that first Tears of the Kingdom stream. Oh, look, epic. That's epic. Epic. And I was saying it ironically, but it was like that thing where I said it too I much ironically that it started to be real. I missed her. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we gotta go blackberry picking today as well. Here you are. Get the hell back here, Claire. I want to celebrate your birthday. Two hearts. Remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. These keep finding their way inside and I have to sweep. It's an extra responsibility. Now she's talking to me. This is a big moment. Claire, are you dateable? Done. Done. Andy is not an option, so Claire is uh, who we're going with. All right. Berries. <laughs> Big moment for the redhead community. So, Ireland. I guess just all of Scandinavia, honestly. Well, no, that's a lot of blonde in Scandinavia as well. Forget it. Forget it. to meet I need to do some more investigation into like what other things I should be doing to like expand the valley meet new people go to new locations because I've been doing a really bad job of that you know grass and the apple trees done oh yeah I can release the grass welcome to Pierre's uh, welcome to give me your money how about that? That was clever, right? 100k. Holla. <coughs> I should have brought my axe and five gold bars. Go ahead and get that started. I'll be doing a forging loop anyway, so. It's no problem. Okay. Let's dump off all of my goods, except... 
Gotta do my hardwood cutting. Uh, I'll do my hardwood cutting and then... Oh god, yeah, I gotta wait for this to finish anyway. Is it even gonna be done by the time Clint... Nope. Well, tomorrow then. All right, let's go cut hardwood and then we're gonna do a big old forging loop around the whole valley. Pick blackberries, pick just loose stuff up off the ground. Okay, dude. Maybe look inward and do some self-reflection. How about that? Instead of just attacking me, start asking yourself, Hey, why am I being so aggressive and petulant? Goes a long way. Uh, without spoilers, folks, I know there's like a bunch of people I have yet to meet and locations I have yet to go to. Is this the kind of stuff that isn't going to get done unless I like go explore? Or is it one of those things where like it'll open up after I complete the community center or something? So it's like I just should just keep playing the game for now. Need to explore more. Damn. Thought I hit it all. Okay. Okay. I want those berries. This isn't even how you get to them. Oh God, I'm just wasting my time. I should just do a better job of befriending everybody, I think is the gist. Okay, I thought I thought I found all the new areas I think maybe it's less about I don't even know. I don't even know We'll do that today because I'll be wandering all around the world anyway picking blackberries So I'll also just make sure I've checked in on everything Let's start. Let's start uh, taking birthdays more seriously. How about that? Because I'm sure a lot of this content is locked behind friendship cutscenes. Is that new? Oh my god! I'm elite. Okay. We're going blackberry picking. It's already 3.30, unfortunately. Does scything grass outside of your farm, like this tall grass, does that count as, does it go to your silo? If you have a silo? And if you're using a scythe? See, like, there's this area, right? This is a total mystery. A total mystery. There's gotta be something I'm supposed to do in here. But like, this is one of those Junimo things. So this is another one that I feel like is a community center type deal. Like after I finish the community center. Cause there's this note that I've already read a thousand times. Maybe I missed something. Yeah, I have no freaking clue. Whatever. No talking about my country? Dude, I'm so sorry. Taco Bell's delicious. Let me check this. Aurora Vineyard, Pelican Town. Okay, yeah.
I see that up there, but it's far. Okay. Come on now. Three blackberries per? You're telling me I'm getting three per? God damn. That's a good deal, my friend. And he lives off of forgeable goods, uh, but I'm taking them. Pelican Town, Fairhaven Farm, Blue Moon Vineyard is is where Sophie lives. Sophia? Sophie? Sophia? <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Let me get some water. What a pretty farm. Hi! It's Scarlet! Isn't Sophia's cosplay room cool or what? Yeah, Sophia was written for you people. Like, objectively. Oh, and she plays Catan. So there's a fern gill. Sorry, my fault. Wow. Sophia, can you please just go away? I'm not having a great day. these new things to explore that puddle down there is one star in it I forgot river fish Governor's holding a banquet and it was a hundred grapes by the end of the season yeah no it's not happening. See, like, look at this. This garden space hasn't been used in a long time. I'm sure that's going to become mine at some point. This is the Grampleton Fields add-on, which I don't have. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let's try staying on the right side this time. I've been up there. It's just a pelican statue. It's cute. It's charming. I'm just looking for literally anything.
<laughs> I got a stretch. But um Chat pause to just do the scroll. What does that mean? That's why I've been seeing chat for a while. Jesus Christ. Well. It's 12. See ya. Ah, but I might have just been about to find some new content. Am I stupid? I guess I'm stupid. Then there's Susan's World, which I feel like I checked out. Right? Because there's Susan. Emerald Farm. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Well, this is a graveyard, which, first of all, uh, bummer. Bear claw. Oh, it's it's everybody's kill count. Oh, my God. Bear claw is pretty awesome. It's a lot of kills, man. Ketra was not good. Ketra was very, very bad. It's too faded to read. Adventure of Guild Crest. Red Scar. Using this adventure slew a thousand slimes. Okay, I did that on my Pulfection 1, and I don't have a glaive. Okay, I'm gonna pass out. Damn it, dude. Grar. I might as well try to make it back. It's a lost cause, but... I want to at least said that I tried. I want to at least say that I tried, I should say. I don't know what I'll lose. I guess just some energy, which I won't be using tomorrow anyway. Some cash. Alright, well, at least I'd like to pass out on my farm. Look at all those blackberries over there I could have gotten. Did not even make it to my farm. Damn it! Okay. Lost some cash, but who cares? We're glad you're okay. Thanks, man. Started Valley Fairs this week. Okay, we're gonna be upgrading the axe today. Let me sell. I don't need you. 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 Uh, or you three. Nice. How many? I need 50. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's bring everything we want for Clint's, which is this, that, uh, donate, donate. That's it, right? Yep. Okay. Um,. And then, there you go. Okay. Hardwood, step one, you know the drill. We've basically got all the <sighs> blackberries we need. At this point, I'm just trying to get to level 10 forging, which we're definitely gonna do by the end of this stream. That's mean. I 
can't reach that, I don't think. Please, have mercy. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna leave through this way. Let's explore the uh, northern area more. Cause I think there's two spots we should explore more heavily. The area near the mines and uh, the summit north of, north of uh, Susan World. I, don't, I have no idea why taking fruit off of bushes does not give you foraging experience. That feels so bizarre. Also, I don't know if this is a hot take. Um... I hope it's not. Of the whole Stardew Valley soundtrack, the, the, the song for Pelican Town, like the song that plays when you're in Pelican Town or going to Pelican Town. I can't stand that song, man. <laughs> I don't know why. I've always felt that way. I'm just not sure. I, 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 it's just, I don't like it. I don't know what it is about it but I do not like it plus you just hear it so many times when you play like every time you enter Pelican Town I forgot to upgrade my tool every time you enter Pelican Town that goddamn high-pitched banjo piercing gold axe busts in and then it's just like man who doggy let's finish the vault today as well Right, we're gonna do that. Okay. Bop. 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 You know what I wanna do, actually? This will take a little bit, but I saw this picture someone made online of uh, a way they sorted their museum, and it was, it, was, it was very aesthetically pleasing, and I'd like to just kind of copy what they did, um, so I will. All right, let's see here. For starters, they had all the scrolls down there. Plus, this gives me a chance to see everything that Stardew Valley Expanded added to this area. And, man, they added a lot. It's just a lot more filled out and, and very pretty. Okay. Um, yeah, this is going to take a bit. So, sorry, but I freaking love what they did. And I'm going to copy it. Okay. I'm not going to show you. You're just going to have to watch it slowly come together. Because I think that's... I think that's cooler. It's like a very pretty gradient. And they did a great job with it. This was almost in the right spot. Yes, thank you for your continued patience. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. Okay. Uh, anchor is there. Sword is here. Flute is here. This will make me want to uh, complete the museum a lot more because I want to see the nice gradient all finished.
See, I want to get... Uh, I want to grab that. The only way I can do is... There we go. Snag it before the little UI thing comes back up. Um, okay, diamond goes here. This goes here. Um, we've got this one, which goes here. Jade goes here. This goes there. Our green area is looking nice. Let's see. And then after that, is that it? No. Um, this needs to be there. Uh, this one goes. This thing's ugly. There. This has got a ruby. Oh, the earth crystal. Right down here. And then is that it? No, definitely not, because we got this thing. But yeah, I like everything having its its proper place. It's very nice. Okay, now I think yeah. Good. Okay. So as we get more stuff to put in here, uh, it's gonna make this very lovely like gradient type beat. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be filling it up. So, I'm gonna put this photo of my favorites. There we go, just on my phone. Okay, uh, reward please. Bear statue. Oh, you shouldn't have. Okay, we're gonna explore today. Today's exploration. Wow! Exploration day. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the vault. Because that needs to get done. And I'm just the guy to do it. Oh. What are you gonna do? The vault. So I shall. Now that I've got the cash. Cake, fertilizer, lightning rod, crystallarium. <laughs> I didn't realize you get animation cancel out of that cutscene. You can leave while this is happening? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Ding dong! Vault's done. We can go to the beast tomorrow. Scoopendous. Alright, we're going north now. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my phone while this is happening. Oh, 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 oh! Clint, what is this big rock, man? Oh, hi, Echo. 
Not Clint. I'm oh, sorry to get rid of this boulder. It's gonna require an explosive that packs a punch. Problem is the materials I need to make it aren't exactly easy to come by. Boing. Help me out. That's kind of you. Meet me at my house. We can go over the list of materials I need. Okay, well that's that that solves my exploration thing. But let me still check to the right. Because besides the cemetery, that's like the one way up, so. Where's Susan? Hi, Susan. Don't forget that fall season is mushroom season, honey. You can turn quite a profit if you're quick about it. Don't tell me about turning profits, Susan. All right, I've been here for less than a year. Also, folks, uh, never go to a secondary location. I'm going to because it's a funny video game, but... <laughs> Yeah, here. All right, Clint. What do we need, my friend? I don't like that I had to come all the way here just for you to tell me. I think the cutscene could have happened here and could have been like, "There's a boulder up north." Lewis tasked me with <laughs> removing. Sorry, I didn't hear you over the furnace. Sorry, what was that clinic? I couldn't hear you in the furnace. Fuck you! S start beating him up. I need coal and iridium ore. Son of a bitch. To make a bomb powerful enough to destroy that boulder. Drop the materials in that crate to your right. Thank, er, 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 thank you for helping me. Check a journal for the specific amounts. Smile to face. Alright, bye. Twenty of each. You gotta be kidding me. All right, well, I gotta get my hands on twenty one iridium ore. At the minimum, and then any more I get would be nice for crafting. Fart hole, dude. That's a lot of iridium. Okay, I'm checking out this north area. Like, we always go to the left straight into the mines, but like, what about to the right? I forgot it's just this boat and we've already been here. Well, look at this. See? Secret. Ugh, it's impossible to see. In the memory of Isabel, beloved wife, mentor, and adventure. May you rest in peace, my flower. It's a little grave. Cool. Okay, and then we've got this uh, boat, which shouldn't use Marlin's bow without permission. Hey, Marlin. Hey, Marlin. Marlin, I would like to use your boat. Good ore even the mines. You strike riches, but it's risky. If you're in a situation where a horde is guarding a treasure, even a big one, take my advice. Turn away. Nope. Minerals and gems. Oh, they do bunk beds. How cute. Okay, well. Cool, guys. Um, I would like to use your boat. Frog legs and mushroom berry. Oh my god. 
Oh yeah, this is what lets me use the uh, poison mushrooms and the and the bane berries. Frog. An odd dish temporarily temporarily reduces max stamina, but it gives you a bunch of buffs. Nope. So now I gotta be friends with Marlin. <coughs> <coughs> Boo! What a turd. I'm very hungry. I'm out. I'm gonna send a text message. <laughs> Alright, well, it's getting pretty late. Here we go. I'm gonna wait until these, um, couple days on, uh, on on these so I guess a couple more days I want them all to be ready at the same time it's for my own for my own sanity all right I probably need more wood cuz I'm about to have a huge influx of bee houses I'm pretty sure um, and I don't know if I'll have enough wood to get the job done. Okay, I'm gonna ditch this. What do we want to brew? I guess a jade is usually a safe bet. Okay, um, and I've got some chocolate cake. Oh wait, I can put this outside now, can I? Yes. Okay, well, this is going somewhere. Um, next to the doghouse. Okay. Guten night. Guten, guten night. <laughs> okay, our axe is in the sh Hell yeah. Our axe is in the shop. She <sighs> got wood cutting or hardwood cutting, so... Forging level 10 is gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Which is an awful shame, because I want it right this freaking second. Any birthdays? No, but like a million other things are happening. Okay. Thunderstorm tomorrow. What am I doing? What am I doing? It's my impression of a Chris move. Get this man a map. Where are you going? Um, my friends used to watch Chris move. Um,. See, that's enough because I don't want to break that. Uh, my friend used to watch Chris, Chris Smoove, who was like a legendary YouTuber in the um, NBA 2K scene. And he had all those little catchphrases, and I think it's so freaking corny. I love it. If you want to look up Chris Smoove, S M O O V E, catchphrases, you'll get a few. You'll get, you like, get this man a map is awesome. I love it. Shot clock cheese. He's got lots. He's great. Well, no, he's really annoying, but it's, it's funny. <laughs> Any honey? There we go. Oops. Okay, none there. Let's 
stupendous. So that's... Look at that. Apple honey. It sells for plenty. Pomegranate honey sells for 1300 a piece. We're about to make a lot of money, dude. Let's go ahead and... I think when we harvest our honey, we should also harvest all the fruit tree fruits. Um, because then, like, there will be fruit by the time the honey is... is a groan. I forgot I got a... Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make today a f day where we sell many a fruit. All right, tough. Um, okay, well, we can't really work on... We could go to the desert, but there's not really much to be done there besides Skull Caverns, and I'm not really ready for that, I don't think. We should at least try to hang, hang out in there and see if we can survive with our shitty weapon, because I'd like to maybe try to get one Iridium Ore to get those mine cards. That would be, like, super, 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 super great. So I think we're going to give that a good go. Let me bring my cakes. Well, I got my cakes with me at all times, if you know what I'm saying, but I'll also bring these three chocolate cakes I have for energy concerns. And now let's head over. Whee! Pam, you gotta hustle. You just have to. How does Claire get here before Pam's even manning her station? All right. Dessert. Ah, of course the desert's been overhauled as well. I should have known. That is so ugly. That, like, purple wall looking. That is so ugly. I love it. Okay. Desert Trader. What, uh... What wares do you have? So many wares. Alright, bye. Um... Okay, well, I'm gonna look around. There's the warp zone. Here's this. I don't know. Oh, Skull Caverns has just been relocated. Uh, so that's Skull Caverns. Uh... And here's this just really vast plane. There's the dead thing. Damn. Damn, son. And there's the uh, galaxy sword zone. All right, so they just made it like, th this makes a lot more sense, I think, for Calico Desert. They just made it this like really vast, empty space. I like it. I want this. That's a tall cactus right there. There's even something to inspect. This cactus is huge. This is a huge cactus. Look at how many hands it... You could hang like four coats on it. Okay, well, that's about it. So I guess let's let's check out that. Uh, I guess the oasis now is up there, and that's why it has this gaudy ass. Okay, so there's not really like any explicitly like new buildings or anything here. It's the same stuff. It's just been reorganized. Hello, casino entrance looks cooler. A customer. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Oh, I love that they redid Sandy's portrait. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. And the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad. Done. Hey, right, well. Three Omni Geodes. Uh, yeah, I'm making that purchase. And we'll grow star fruit next season. Awesome. All right. 
Let's go inside Skull Cavern and just let's just see what happens. How about? Ding ding. All right. Oh God, this is already right now. You didn't touch me even way. I want to get to a point where if they die, they'll drop a ladder. Got him. Got him. Okay. My sword is not sufficient for this area. What kind of luck that looks pretty good based on that symbol in the top. Yeah, I'm feeling a little lucky today. Uh, hello. Um, cheater. Hello, cheater. Paging cheater. Paging person cheating. Get out of here. Uh, well. I don't envision today going especially well. <laughs> I just don't I just don't see it happening I just got really hungry Oh, uh, like Ugh I'm gonna have to take that sandwich intermission I was talking about earlier Well, no Here's what I'm gonna do First, I'm gonna get a ladder Even better I am going to eat a banana. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. Eh. So everyone, please hold while I work on my banana. So you need to eat. I'm also gonna go pee. <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm gonna work on the banana. I'm so tired.
Have we cleared the large boulders and stumps around the greenhouse yet? Why is there a secret there? Is there a secret back there? Are you, t is that are you saying? Are you saying there's a secret back there? Are you secret to f find. Just make my own fun. Just have to go see. Now, die! Sorry. Okay. Come on. Come on, son. Concussed him. Yep. He's dead. All right. That works. Um, dinosaur. Got him. Is that new? Epicness, bro. All right. Well, that's exciting. good as I wanted I gotta be honest it is a good luck day oh shit and of course I'm never getting out of here god damn it this is like a worst case scenario floor and this is fine Dude, these things hitboxes are whack! Oh my fucking god, that's so stupid. Neither of those hit me. Well, yeah, we shouldn't be in there. Our weapon is terrible. Okay, hopefully I didn't lose anything that bad. A thousand and I lost all of my good uh, energy stuff, which is a shame, but I've got a ton of extra at home anyway. Uh, yeah, though I've always had a visceral hatred for the hitboxes on the serpents. I think it's just like incorrect because a lot of times I feel like I'll hit it away and it's pick none of its pixels touched any of my personal pixels, and it'll be like actually half your health is now not yours anymore. You gave it away. Yeah, I thought that was stupid, but that's fine. Yeah, we should not be in there with this sword. There's just no chance of, of having fun playing the video game that I bought. So we won't. <coughs> we'll save that for later. Completely out of room here. Um, why is this in here? Artifact. Um, this is unimportant. We don't need it. This I'm going to sell as well. I never use this. Okay, I would love to crack these because those are my best shot at uh, getting myself some iridium ore. So I'm saving that. Um, okay. I need a new stack of energy things. I mean, just this cake is good. These grapes, honestly. 43 of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll go to Clint's tomorrow and our act should be done by then. <laughs> and then we can investigate the area by our greenhouse, which apparently might have a secret. Jesus Lord, this mod. So broken. I love it. Gold axe is ready. I know, son. I know. See, made it to Let's See if we can get 25 levels deep. I'm just gonna die again, dude. It's a no. Yams are done. I need five gold yams. Done. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we'll plant pumpkins now. On all these spots.
Okay. Um. Yay! All right, today's the day we're gonna harvest all our maple syrup. Look at look at it all. Oh damn it! That one wasn't done. That's fine. Who cares even? Could I um? Let's see. Could I? There we go. Now it's all synced up. Hooray! Okay. Let's make... Should going to the right of your warp point bit? Uh... I mean, this looks like a shortcut, but I don't really know, like... Oh, I can't even get back there. This is my... Like, like this area? I haven't. I, I, I'll try when I get my axe. Cause there's uh there's this which implies that there's a cut through, yeah. Well, we'll explore that. Uh, I need my axe. Let's just go ahead and make as many bee houses as I can. Okay. Uh, wood, maple syrup, uh, coal, and iron bars. Here we go. We could do it all. We could do it all. That's awesome. All right, 24 more bee houses. Let's go ahead and throw them down. So, this section is done. Uh, we've got those three. We got one there. Done. All right, so this row is done. <coughs> In terms of all of our fruit trees and bee houses. It's a lot. Honestly, I might just for, like, I know we're going for as many fruit trees as possible. I might cut down these rows of two because I don't need them. Uh, for the bee houses and this is just such a clusterfuck. It's like impossible to tell where you're going in there So I might or right, maybe instead of cutting them down. I'll get that mod that lets you relocate them Instead, I'll scoot them somewhere else. I'll think about that at least Um, Because I like these like rows of three. I like that a lot What I might do in that case is get rid of these and then um, I have this mod where I can Increase their range Which I will do So because that's just like an aesthetic thing. I know it's an advantage for me. Obviously. It's still technically cheating, but Look at the tiny apple. Look at those tiny apples uh, But yeah, I I, I, I want to be able to have more bee houses Okay um, In that case now that they have more flower range Well, they don't even It's still the same it looks like Huh. Whatever. Maybe it's just not congruent. Maybe, yeah, I'm sure just like the UI suite doesn't update, but it is technically. Okay. Um, well, in that case, anywhere where I can technically reach a bee house, for instance, right there. And we'll have another one on that side too. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now, we're gonna go get our gold axe from Clint. 
Got all my clint goods. Our wood fences are starting to die, which is awful sad. We'll replace those with hardwood because that's more convenient, even though I think the wood fences just look a ton nicer. So that does bum me out a little bit. Eventually, once we get the gold clock, I'll, I'll make them wood. You're so close to level 10. Yes. Thanks, man. Here we go. Iridium. No. Iridium. It happens all the time when I don't want it to. Come on. One Iridium ore. You love doing that. You love doing that when I'm looking for artifacts, man. God damn it. I didn't even get anything new. Holy shit. Wow. That was like an actual worst case scenario. We had seven Omni Geodes to work with there and that's, that's it. Damn, that sucked. All right, well, let me find on my phone where these two things should go. This goes here. And this goes there. Cool. Rare crow. All right. Well, we're going to do some wood cutting, hard wood cutting. Just a lot of cutting of wood, various kinds of wood. And we're going to uh, hit level 10 foraging by the end of the day. Mark my words. Mark them. Also, we said we were going to do better with birthdays, so we should give Jody a birthday gift. Let me see. What is our best gift option for Jody? Let's see. My whole computer froze, by the way. She does love chocolate cake, and we have three of them. Um, so we're just going to do that. That's actually really convenient. I can do that right now. Well, yeah, we should we should go do that. Um, this time around, this chat, you guys have been so much better than my... Um, chat when I did the perfection streams on YouTube. Uh, you guys have been so much better about just letting me look up somebody's favorite gifts. Oh my god. Last time, like with the perfection stream, no matter what, every single time, I didn't even phrase it as like a question. I just said to myself like, I'm going to look up like what gifts Blah likes. And everyone is like, this is my opportunity to show everybody what I know about this game. And then the chat would just be an avalanche of people saying one thing that they remember. And it's like, no, I like, I remember a couple. I just want to see a list of all of them so I can figure out the best option. And the number of times I'd be like, I'm going to check. I'd like even preface it. I'd be like, I'm going to check the wiki to see if there are any that I can get a quality bonus on. And then they would pour, like, pouring in. She likes risotto. She likes risotto. She loves risotto. Jody loves risotto. You can't get a bonus on that. What did I just say? Oh, my God. It was so annoying. Plus, those were the days when it was, like, Dr. Death, and that's it. In terms of, like, my moderators. So, he was, like, solo modding most of those. Yeah. Do I have your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just clean the floor. But you're always welcome here. Fair. That's fair. But yeah, I hated that shit so much. I forgot. I hated that shit so much. <coughs> Every single time. 
Oh, Blau's birthday. Chat just poof. Wall of people being like. Sometimes I'm giving loved gifts just off the top of their head being like, uh, he likes diamonds. I'm not dropping a diamond on Vincent because he likes it. Just let me search something, please. I hate that shit so much. Whoops, I was looking at my phone. Crit. Ya mama. New axe. New axe goofing. Please don't. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. whatever. So many treats here. Oh my god! What is up today, dude? Every single slime that has touched me in the secret woods today has given me that stupid slime effect. It's driving me insane. Watch. Oh, thank god. I've been spared for the first time. Bye. How much energy do these give you? Not nearly as much as grapes. Okay. Oh my, I'm, I can't, I can't stand it. I. Can someone do me a favor and Google? Uh, if it says on the wiki, what are your odds of getting slimed when a slime touches you? Look at our foraging, dude. We're, we're there. Here we go, folks. Level 10 foraging. Bang. We've done it. Level 10. My favorite skill in the world to get to level 10. So proud of this community. 100% chance of slime if thrown. I believe it. All right, I'm going. And I'm investigating the area around my greenhouse, like y'all asked, and also around the warp zone. Okay. It's really dark and misty, so it'll be tough to, uh, he, but let's see here. Lord above. I cannot see with all this fog, man. Yeah, I yeah. I think I might have to do this tomorrow when I can see. Yeah, okay. Okay. No dice. It's dark, it's foggy, it's raining, I can't see a damn thing. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay. All the 
fences are dying. Good night. Yes! Yes! Elite. Fried calamari. Thanks, Jody. I don't like uh, you very much. Just kidding. You seem nice. All right. Beep up. More for me. Okay. Now, let's hit it. Our forageable seeds are done. Okay. Let's do this. I just realized I said, like, let's do this. As in, like, specifically this is the thing we'll be doing. Sounds like I tried to say, let's do this, and I have no idea how to enunciate anything. I like how they, like, put that rock there. It's clever. Ah, it's like a little geode cave type beat. So, Grandpa's farm is like all the farms. Lovely. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Geode cave. Now, let me harvest these. I don't need to plant the foraging seeds anymore because I wasn't doing it for profit. I was doing it for XP and we're at level 10 anyway. So now these are just nice to have for uh, energy. Yeah, like 65. Yes, Plive. Okay, let me go back over to the greenhouse section. Now. Okay. Now. I will investigate as much as needs to be investigated. See, like, that looks like the spot right there. Here. Like, that looks like the spot, man. stupid I was looking elsewhere Okay. <sighs> My God. Is this a joke? Trying it all here. Are y'all, are, are, are you screwing with me? Am I getting screwed with? Are you screwing with me?
He said to check all the stumps and big rocks by the greenhouse. I think they were all like over here, but I am so confused. Whatever. This is a separate deal. Okay, whatever, 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 whatever. Well, damn, I need a gold pickaxe for that. Let's get that started today, because I, I have the money for it. the waterfall oh that's where the like grandpa note is i see that's cute Ready for my return on the dawn of your third year says grandpapa okay gramps um and then i need yeah golden pickaxe for that don't i i mean i'll double check but yeah that's fine all right well i would like a bridge here I'm definitely not gonna be able to make it in time. I gotta try though. No way, I don't have enough gold to do it anyway. Yeah, I'm one bar short. Okay, well then in that case. Who cares? Oh, did lightning strike my path? What the farts? Okay, not what I wanted. Um, let's then, uh, we gotta replace all our fences. I guess we, yeah, we can do that. Um, okay. These are all getting sold now. Anything that's not iridium quality. Getting sold. Anything that does not have an iridium quality counterpart, I should say. Okay. Um, yeah. What does the hardwood fence look like again? In this mod, what is it? What is what? What do we got? It's basically the same. I just I like the wooden one a lot more because I like these little like bumps and inconsistencies in the wooden one. So when, still, once we get a golden clock, I will be uh, putting it as wood. Okay. It's not correct, you stupid dummy. Those are still going to work. Good shit. Need 20. That was 20. Neat. I'm gonna do an extra one there. I think it needs one. Yeah, we go. I forgot I put these down manually because I thought they looked nice. I still think they do. Okay. Oh, some, some. Bitch. Okay.
God damn it. How did I not place? Getting frustrated at decorating my farm. Okay. Ding, ding. And those are part of the world, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that's all replaced. Now I got to do these ones up here. Just make a bunch. I'll go with them all. Easy peasy. Okay. Then... There you go. Looks good. Okay, and then here I need... I shouldn't do this. Did I get them all? I can't tell. I hadn't. I was missing one. Okay. And then neat. are all placed by the game, so I gotta do these. Oh, I don't remember. Was it there? I think it was... Yeah. Okay. See at this point. I don't know. Probably. Uh, okay, I think that's all of them. I think. All right. All fences have been replaced with hardwood. And for that, I am proud. Amazing. And I'm going to bed. Cool. Ah. Oh, good lord. Okay, technically there's still 14 minutes left on the stream, but I am really tired and very hungry and I've got something I've got a big presentation. I'm giving to many people. Well I've got a presentation. I'm giving to at least one person um, At 630 that I got to prep for cause it's like an hour long um, Okay <coughs> Bonk. Thanks goof troops 
for tuning in. Sorry for the hectic week of screen stream cancellations. Um, I'll be back on Friday, and that's a promise. Uh, for some Sonic 06. Get excited. We're starting that. All right. Love you, booze. Love you, booze. Big smooches. Mwah.